Hello, Bleeding Critic. It's Isaac Thorne, back for another horror therapy. This one's a little more supernatural. It all started when I was just a little kid. I don't exactly remember how little, but let's just say I was little enough to not remember now how little I was back then. So just imagine this. I'm in my bed, the covers pulled up to my chin. I don't know what time it is, but it's obviously late in the night. I can remember a hint of moonlight shining through my window, bright enough to cast shadows of the tree branches outside onto my bedroom floor. For some reason I don't recall, I was unable to drift to sleep. At the foot of my bed and to my left was a closet. Its door stood open, which was unusual. I was keenly aware of monsters in closets and under beds at that time in my life, so I would have ordinarily ensured that the door was firmly closed before I doused the lights and hopped into bed. That night, I either didn't remember to close the closet door, or it had, at some point, opened of its own accord. I kept glancing at the closet's cavernous interior in the darkness, thinking I saw something in there. The more I looked at it, the more convinced I became that things in my room that night were not as they should be. Soon enough, I discovered that my suspicions were correct. As I gazed into the darkness of that closet, I could swear I saw a pair of disembodied blue jeans walk out of the closet and across my room all by themselves. I watched them walk from one side of my room to the other and then vanish as they entered the strand of moonlight shining through the window. I remember clutching the hem of my bedsheet and pulling it closer to my chin, nearly over my mouth. I diverted my gaze from where the jeans had disappeared and stared back into the darkness of my closet. Seconds later, they strode the same path as before, and then, once again, vanished into the moonlight beam. I don't know how many times the pattern repeated itself. I don't remember how or when I finally fell asleep that night. All I know is that when I awoke the next morning, my closet door was firmly shut, as it should have been all the previous night. To this day, I don't know if I witnessed something supernatural or if someone had slipped something sinister into my juice cup. I just know what I thought I saw, and I hope I never see it again. Thanks for listening, Bleeding Critic. Until next time.